Alright, so time for some Bolster Warrior. In case you're wondering what card is missing in the deck tracker, it's two Ravaging Ghouls. I don't know why the deck tracker doesn't work, but for some reason it doesn't recognize my Ravaging Ghouls. Um, this is actually Trump's list, and I was like, I saw that he was playing Bolster Warrior, so I was like, cool, I'll just look at his list and then cut two cards for Arcano Smith, but he was actually already playing Arcano Smith, so got to straight up copy his list. And apparently he went like 18 and 4 with this deck, which is pretty nuts. But he was also playing at like rank 15. Job done. There's actually a very good chance that this is the mirror match, because obviously Trump is a pretty popular dude that has a lot of influence. I'll just equip the axe here. I obviously don't really need the armor on turn 2. And I'd like to play one of my 3 mana cards next turn. I don't really want to play my Acolyte of Pain into that Fiery War Axe, so I guess I won't. If I'm playing the Arcano Smith on 4, maybe I can play the Acolyte on 5 behind the 0-5 taunt. Okay. Playing a Cthulhu list. I can just use the Ravaging Ghoul here, but the Ravaging Ghoul just dies to the Fiery War Axe, it's also a bit mana inefficient. So I'll probably just use my axe to swing into this guy. And if I hold... maybe I can play my Ravaging Ghoul next turn to get a good 3 card battle rage. I believe this bolster deck is supposed to beat aggro. It's probably really bad against Cthulhu Warrior. You go for a big bolster board, they brawl you. Um, you never really get good protect the king value. Wow, that seemed like a bad play. I'm gonna go ahead and draw some cards with Battle Rage here. I get three draws off of it, that's probably as good as I'm gonna get in this matchup. There was some consideration to try to play Acolyte of Pain this turn, and then get another draw, or kind of like another two draws off of it with Ravaging Ghoul. Playing the Ravaging Ghoul there did kind of leave me weak to his Ravaging Ghoul, so maybe it was not. Maybe it was not too good of a play. I don't really just want to throw out Sylvanas without it really applying any kind of pressure. It's dealt with pretty easily just by execute, second shield, slam. I'll just play the two monkeys here. Next turn maybe I go like Acolyte of Pain and then target it with Blood to Icker. Maybe just Sylvanas is good next turn. Second Ravaging Ghoul is pretty good. I slam into that, how many good cards can I draw to answer it? I mean, I guess I could Blood to Icar it to save my 3-3 taunt, but it would be better if I drew into Fiery War Axe, King's Defender, Ravaging Ghoul. Really only three good draws. But again, I don't really want to play Sylvanas because it's basically alone on the boards in the 3-3's trade. Go ahead and see if I can draw a good card here. Second slam. Probably just use the Icker here to clear it. Like, if I save the Blood to Icker to get the 2-2 two -two out of it, I have to trade off my 3-3 three -three taunt, so it's basically... It's kind of like the Blood to Icker gave me a 3-3 three -three taunt right there, since I got to save my monkey from trading into his Ravaging Ghoul. Augur's pretty good here. The Knolls are really good at eating up his Gore Hell. He might brawl this board. Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. City and Destroyer. I might just want to slam Justicar and send one of my small minions into it. Not sure if I would send an Acolyte or a Knoll. He's played both of his Ravaging Ghouls, I believe. So my Acolyte doesn't really... I guess it's good against Cthulhu, but it doesn't really force any awkward plays out of him. 
I'll just trade off the Acolyte here. I think it's fine. And Hogger alone is enough of a problem that he might be forced to brawl it. So I'm not going to play like an Obsidian Destroyer or a Sylvanas behind it. Hogger himself might just take over the game. I don't have a good way to proc execute. Oh, just kidding. I drew a pretty good way to proc execute. Maybe I hold the execute. Just go like Blood to Icker Bolster, maybe? No. I mean, he has two brawls in his deck, so it's not like I'm ever really gonna get like some sick bolster turn. It's just gonna die. Getting plus four plus four out of the bolster might be good enough. And then if he brawls this, I can play Obsidian Destroyer. He's kind of in a similar situation. He's played both of his Ravaging Ghouls, so the Obsidian Destroyer should be about as annoying as Hogger. Sylvanas Brawl. Is that worth it? I feel like that wasn't worth it. He could have just gore howled into whatever lived. I mean, Ragnaros is pretty good here, right? The Obsidian's Destroyer still isn't bad, but Ragnaros is just, like, so good here. If it hits him in the face, he's, like, too low to face tank with Gorhal, and hitting him, hitting the Null means he has no board. Obviously, hitting the Null was preferable, because he can actually kill Ragnaros on board like this, but if he does, he goes down to four, probably heals up to eight. Oh, he has Revenge in stock. Had to revenge his null for free damage. Fortunately, I don't have any way to deal one damage to it. Wonder if I can execute that. That probably doesn't make too much sense. I don't know. What's better to execute than this? The six sixes, four six taunts, Cthune. Okay, there's a lot of better stuff to execute. I think just Obsidian Destroyer is fine here. His clear on Ragnaros was pretty inefficient last turn. He had to spend Revenge instead of a 1 damage source, which was all he needed to proc execute. So his Gorehow plus 1 damage into the Obsidian Destroyer probably isn't too likely. He does have armor now, so second shield slam is an option. But that will be his second shield slam. Wow. Armor up pass. Was it correct to leave the Obsidian Destroyer? Or leave the... What is this even called? Leave the Scarab to kill the 4-1? I'm scared of second brawl. But I guess if he plays it, it would be his second brawl. And then... He wouldn't have an answer to Varian. I don't have Varian yet. I'll play the Acolyte here. Maybe I should have considered playing the Bloodhoof Brave, but playing that into his 6 damage Gore Hell doesn't look too good. Looks like it's probably a roll. Alright. If the Obsidian Destroyer lives, he might have just lost the game, but I'm sure his Acolyte will live. Oh! That's bad for him. That's second Brawl, so I can do whatever I want now. Just throw these two guys on the board. He can only Gore Howl into one of them. Um, he has no more Brawls. I have Bolster in hand. He's weak. Nice. That was a surprisingly easy game. How good was the Arcano Smith that game? It gave me two bodies to draw off Battle Rage, the Shield 8, a Fiery War Axe charge. Not too bad. Hopefully he can put in some more work this game. Get out. 
Mage. You asked for it. Victory or death. The last mage I played was a freeze mage. But I should probably assume this is tempo mage. Ravaging Ghoul isn't very good against Tempo Mage. I'd rather have Acolyte, Fierce Monkey, Fiery War Axe, King's Defender. Arcane Anomaly. Alright. That's fine. I don't care enough about that guy to spend a Blood to Icker here, or a Slam. It would be really hard for him to get that out of range of my King's Defender before this next turn. So I'll just kill it with that. Or if he just decides to play like a 3-2 here, I'll just kill that instead and leave the 2-1 up. 2-1 doesn't really do anything. I wonder. So if this is Tempo Mage, he has Mirror Image in his deck most likely. And I would imagine if he's playing Arcane Anomaly, he's playing a Tempo Mage with a lot of cheap spells. Wow. Coin Flame Waker. Okay. Um, anyway, I would imagine he's playing a Tempo Mage with a lot of cheap spells. And Protect the King is pretty good against Mirror Image. The Coin Flame Waker seems like a strange choice to me. If he plays Mirror Images, I can't get to the Flame Waker. So maybe I need to just King's Defender into it this turn, and then my next turn could be Blood to Icker Ravaging Ghoul, which would also clear off the 2-2, but that's assuming he doesn't play anything. Doesn't play any spells. I think I'm just gonna King's Defender into the 2-2. It's fine against everything other than Mirror Image. And even if he does have Mirror Image, I can, like, Slam, Icker, and then Ravaging Ghoul to kill it or something. I mean, that's not good, but I can do it. So it's probably just Ravaging Ghoul smack into the Flame Waker. I would love to go like Blood to Icker, or just like slam Ravaging Ghoul, swing in, kill both of his dudes. But I don't have the mana for that, and I should probably get the Flame Waker off the board. I could just drop a Bloodhoof Brave into the board. If he had the Taunters, I think he would have played them that turn. I don't absolutely need to hit the weapon into the Flame Waker there. But if I just play Bloodhoof Brave and he fireballs it, I don't really accomplish anything with that. I'll just go for the Ravaging Ghoul play. It's the Flame Waker off the board. I guess I could have also gone for the, like, slam on the Mana Worm, Blood to Icker, the Flame Waker, kill the Flame Waker. Mana Worm is just a 1-1 on board against my 2-2 Slime. Actually, maybe that was better. But Ravaging Ghoul isn't really that good against Tempo Mage. And if he doesn't have two spells here, then the Ravaging Ghoul kills the Mana Worm and lives. Or at least forces out a hero power. Alright. That's a pretty inefficient turn from him. Only spends three of his four mana. And he, uh, only got to use hero power plus a one mana spell. I don't think anything other than the Bloodhoof Brave really makes too much sense here. By the way, I crafted Varian Rin so I could play this deck, so I'm gonna be pretty upset if I can't play Varian. I guess I should slam the Azure Drake and draw a card. Or? I mean, I could bolster here. It makes my Bloodhoof Brave a 4 8. Run it into here, and then I get a 7 4. But then that just dies from one spell. Plus Man Orm Ping. That's probably not good. Let's see if I can draw something relevant here. Monkey is pretty good, I guess. I can also just spend the second. Slam to effectively put a 5 4 minion on the board. That's probably worth it, right? I didn't get the draw out of the slam, but 
Going into his turn 6, he has nothing on the board. I have a 5-4. And then on my turn 7, I can play Obsidian Destroyer. Start blocking lots of damage. Crossbolt. Okay. Um, this is a pretty good turn to play Obsidian Destroyer. Because he wants to hero power 5-1, obviously. So it should mean my my scarab eats up a water elemental attack. He can flame strike here, but it's not super good. He has to trade in his water elemental. Also, Obsidian Destroyer is pretty safe this turn because Fireball alone doesn't kill it. Since he was kind of forced to ping the 5 1. He's getting pretty low on cards. Um, he's played Frostbolt, two Arcane Blasts, a Fireball. Maybe I just play Hogger. Hogger is pretty weak to Firelands Portal. He's very likely playing Firelands Portal in his deck. Maybe I just go like Acolyte, Icker. Fierce Monkey. I could Icker my own Acolyte to draw a card if I really wanted to. But like, he has three cards in hand. Played a bunch of removal, maybe I just play Hogger. I could just lose the game to Firelands Portal though. But is Firelands Portal on Fierce Monkey even that much better for me? Not really. I'm gonna play Hogger here. If nothing else, it baits out removal that could have been that could be used on the Varian Ren. I don't know how worth it that is though. I think this is definitely a play that could be considered incorrect. Oh rag, that's bad. I don't have an execute. Base. I need to draw a card here, I think. Protect the king. I can protect the king bolster here. It's actually not bad. Or I could just protect the king here. That's also not bad. Throws up two 1-1s one going into his Ragnaros. He has to send water elemental into one of them. Leaves my hero unfrozen if I draw into one of my two weapons. But like the Arcanosmith is pretty good here too, right? That's an actual body on board. And Water Elemental can't clear the 0-5. I'm just going to be pretty greedy with my Protect the King bolster combo, I think. Alright, that's kind of bad for me because he was running low on cards. But it does take up most of his turn drawing, so I think that's not a disaster. Oh, protect the king value. Protect the value. Alright, that's fine. I mean, protect the king bolster is not even super good here. He's drawn a ton of cards since since the last time that Flame Strike might have even been a reasonable play. I guess I can just play protect the king. I don't have to play bolster with it. And he might have to Flame Strike that anyway. Maybe it was better to send my 3-2 into the Water Elemental instead of my face. Just because, you know, Flame Strike is a card. I guess if he does play Flame Strike here... Oh, no Flame Strike. I was gonna say, if he does play Flame Strike here, then Varian Ren's probably pretty safe next turn. But it looks like he doesn't have it. He did just draw a ton of cards, though. Oh, that's gross. That's so gross. He had the little flame strike. Can't seem to draw my executes. Behold the armies of Stormwind. Still didn't draw an execute. Oh, I got rag though. It's hot one and three. Always face. 
Even hitting the Azure Drake there was fine. Hitting him in the face is probably a game losing rag hit. I mean, he probably is lethal. He just needs two fireballs. Um, fireball Frostbolt is one off. But even just like Fireball to the face here is a good play. Because then he either kills one of my huge minions or I die. Although maybe it's better to just Fireball the Varian run. Still no execute. I can draw a lot of cards this turn with Protect the King, Bolster, Ravaging Ghoul, and Battle Rage, but that's 10 mana so I don't even get to play the execute if I draw it, but it might still be worth it. Puts up a pretty huge wall that's difficult for him to deal with. Unless he has Flame Strike, I probably can't die to it, or die through it, and the execute's still good next turn. I guess it's probably not really worth playing. Well, yeah, it even puts his like his Flame Waker and his Azure Drake into range of my of my dudes. Pull off the Flame Waker. But, I mean, I'm most likely dead here. Even if he doesn't have any removal, there's still a 1 in 4 chance that I'm just dead to Ragnaros. But surely he has some amount of burn. That's a bummer.